What is going on, YouTube Averse? John Stanek from Johnny Radio here, bringing you another top five on this glorious Top Five Friday. And I couldn't be more excited than to be talking to you about one of my favorite bands of all time, Led Zeppelin, and my personal favorite Top Five Zeppelin songs. Let's get right into it at number five. Whole lot of love from Led Zeppelin 2, the opening track, just classic. One of the best rock songs of all time. Just that riff is so iconic and everyone just giving their all on this song. I just did a review of Led Zeppelin 2, which you can click on the link after this video if you want to see me go on and on about this particular song. But I do have to say just the energy of this song from Robert Plant's unbridled delivery to uh, John Bonham's crazed fills. I mean, it's got all this sexual energy. Uh, Jimmy Page, one of his best guitar solos, and of course, John Paul Jones holding down that groove. It is incredible. So that is at my number five. Next at number four. Since I've Been Loving You from Led Zeppelin 3. This is a blues classic that clocks in at over seven minutes, but it's worth every second. I mean, the emotion in this song. Robert Plant, you can just feel the uh, whether he had a woman leave him or not, uh, it feels like he did. I mean, it's just, and this is, you know, Zeppelin is known for most of their blues songs that they put on record were covers or alternate versions of other people's work. This was written by the band and it is one of their best. Uh, again, Jimmy Page at the top of his game, one of his best guitar solos. The way this thing builds, it is just a masterpiece. Go listen to it now. And that is just at number four. Now, folks, at number three... Stairway to Heaven. You have to have this on your list. And I know a lot of people think this song is overrated. And when I was new to the band, I kind of felt the same way. Again, it's seven plus minutes. And this one takes a while to kind of build and find its way. But that's the beauty of it. It starts out with this simple acoustic riff, uh, this melancholy thing that uh, has these very strange, mysterious lyrics. And then it just keeps building and building. And by the time you're to the point that again one of Jimmy Page's best actually I would argue this is his best guitar solo in a song uh, it is just pure ecstasy when it gets to that point and uh, by the end when Plant is saying and she's buying a stairway to heaven you're like oh wait it's ending now this could go on for another seven minutes I mean it is just a classic and a masterpiece the centerpiece of Led Zeppelin IV, which I feel is their best album. Uh, and that's really saying something. So that is at my number three. Now, folks, at number two. <laughs> Cashmere from Physical Graffiti from 1975. This is another seven plus minute masterpiece. And man, the way that the chord changes in this thing, I don't know where Jimmy Page came up with this riff, but it seems simple, but it is not. And it has a very Middle Eastern influence. As a matter of fact, when they did uh, reunite in the mid 90s, Page and Plant and played with the Middle Eastern band, which I think is actually the quintessential version of this to listen to. Uh, of course, physical graffiti version is great as well. And John Paul Jones had a lot to do with the orchestration in the background, just a jack of all trades, not just the bass player and uh, keyboard player. But man, what a song. And the way the end of this song, I, I mean, it doesn't have just the iconic riff. It has three different separate parts that each one are beautiful in their own way. But the the ending part that is just going uh, from a, a G to a B, I believe, it, it's just two chords, but the way it's it's filled out by this band is incredible. And if you haven't seen them play, play this live at Nebworth 1979 version, check it out because John Bonham's drum fills and then hitting a gong at the end is just like mind-blowingly amazing. So that is up my number two. Now, folks, at number one... 
When the Levee Breaks, again from 1971's Zoso, aka Led Zeppelin IV. This is the closing track on that record and one that I feel is a little bit underrated. Uh, however, I know most of the people I know love this song. Uh, just the way that they got the drums to sound on this song, which I... Uh, I don't know for sure, but I've heard that uh, they recorded in this house out in the country in England and uh, Bonham was set up in a stairwell and they had microphones coming in from above to get this natural reverb and echo sound that just sounds huge. I mean, and of course, just it's not just the sound. Bonham no drummer sounds like him because he was really that good. I mean, uh, truly, he was. And this is another one of those blues jams. Again, seven plus minutes. And, and you know, I remember someone, uh, when I was first getting into Zeppelin, this kid saying to me, all Led Zeppelin songs, the best ones are like, three minutes long. I don't know what he's talking about. I mean, there's plenty of great ones like Immigration Song, Communication Breakdown, but are you kidding me? It's like the ones that are the best to me are the ones that go on forever. In My Time of Dying is like 10 plus minutes. That almost made my list as well. But this song is just the best. Again, that drum sound by Bonham, iconic. The riff by Page. It's not, it's a bluesy riff, but he does his own thing with it, adds the slide uh, effect into the, the chorus. Then you've got Robert Plant just giving, I mean, he's never, uh, he's always a 10 out of 10. The best singer of all time, in my opinion. You've got uh, some harmonica in there. You've got John Paul Jones just really filling out the sound, playing full chords on the bass, during the chorus, and uh, man, it is just, it is really something. It, it's like, it's so huge. Even if you have it at a low volume, it feels like you could hear it from outer space. It is one of my favorite blues rock songs of all time, uh, maybe even in my top five songs of all time, period. And that's why Zeppelin is uh, my second favorite band of all time, right behind the Beatles. They're just... Uh, uh, all amazing individually and as a band, uh, no one did what they did. I mean, just incredible. So that is my top five, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I would love to see your top five. If you're so bold, leave me a top 10. I mean, there's so many songs that I left off of my list that could have made it. Um, but this is the cream of the crop for me, guys. So let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that jazz. Check out some of my other content that you can see on the screen now. Thank you again for supporting Johnny Radio. Take care and I'll see you soon.